In this short video, we're going to show you some of the main SARQuant interface features that make using SARQuant easier and more efficient. For this video, we're assuming that you already have a task file set up. If you're unsure of how to create a task file, please refer to our previous video, which takes you through the steps required to do so. What we're going to show you is that all of the windows on the left and right side of the application are movable and dockable. So depending on the monitor setup or um, the size of the monitor, you may want to move these around. You can undock them, dock them within each other. You can see here, you can resize them. And you can also dock them in different positions within the application itself. Now, obviously, this is very user dependent. Um, different users prefer to have things uh, in different positions. Um, if you have multiple monitors, you may want um, to maximize screen space for the scan and then move the other windows off, off screen to another monitor. Um, for this demo, we're going to put it back to the original position. Um, Another thing to note that um, when you're actually moving the windows, when the mouse cursor hits the edge is when it will actually dock. So you will see the window um, shape expand in blue and that's when you know that it will dock in the correct position. So we'll now go ahead and do a refinement. Um, for this task, I've actually got the background refinement option selected. Um, this is selected here. Um, if you don't want to do a background refinement, for example, if you have a funny background or um, you just want to have more control, you can also do a manual background subtraction. So now that we've done our, refine, our initial refinement, you can see that the quantification results window has been populated, um, which is down here. And you can also see on the right side the phase dependent parameters window, which shows the refinable parameters for each phase. Um, so from here, you can either uh, change the phase from this little box here, or by clicking on this window here, it will also change the phase to displayed in that um, phase dependent parameters window. When you want to zoom into a particular region in SARAQUANT, you do that by clicking and dragging down and to the right, and that will um, perform your zoom. And if you want to zoom back out, you do the opposite, you click and go up and to the left, and that will zoom out. Um, Soroquan also has the option of a zoom tracker. So when you click down and to the right, um, you can see that the zoom tracker is enabled and this will allow you to move to different areas within the scan um, while still seeing the overview of the scan. A couple of other points to note. Um, when you want to start refining the individual parameters of each phase, you click on the stages box and unclick the auto prescale, and this will show you the different um, refinable parameters for each of the phases. Um, another neat little trick is that by clicking this grid layout button, you can change from a vertical to horizontal orientation. So depending on how many phases are in your scan, or how you've got your monitor set up, you may want it vertical or horizontal. So we're now just gonna do a refinement on a couple of these parameters. Um, this can be done by clicking on the um, parameters you wanna uh, refine. So for example, the unit cell or the orientation. Once these are clicked, if you hit refine, your refinement gets executed and you can see that the um, the content um, composition window changes with the results. Um, so now going back to the phase dependent parameters window, we can now see that the values um, for the parameters that we refined, which are the unit cell in this case. Um, a useful tool here is that if you want, you can enable refinement limits for any refinable parameter. And this just allows you to have SARAQUANT stop the refinement 
if it hits a particular limit. Um, this can be particularly useful for uh, Ws where it's very easy to over refine the W. If you want to check what the refinable parameters were at the start of the um, task before you done, you've done any refinements, you can click the default button and it will give you a comparison um, from the default and the current values. Um, by clicking replace unit cell, you can also replace everything back to the default. So if you basically want to restart your refinements on a particular phase, um, you can just restore from the default. A couple of other useful features um, that are worth exploring. By right-clicking and clicking Edit Chart, you can change any of the colors for the screen. I think by default, Sora Client ships with a black background. Um, in this case, I've obviously changed it to a white background, but you can pick any color scheme that uh, you find more appealing. Um, another feature to note is the ability to add excluded regions. So some instruments may have some artifacts that you want to exclude or if you want to exclude the start or end of a scan because of the um, instrument background or something like that, you can also add an excluded region to your scan. And that will exclude any region in the excluded region from the refinements, therefore not impacting the results. And the last thing that I'll show you just quickly is um, the ability to turn the HKL bars on and off. Um, by opening up the HKL bar palette, you can actually um, pick which bars are displayed. You can scale the bars. So depending on um, the, the intensities you've got, you might want to find a, a different scale for them. And you can also change the color for any particular uh, HKL bar. Thanks for watching. Um, if you have any requests on videos or anything like that, please let us know in the comments and we'll be sure to get one up as soon as possible.